Oh my goodness. Hello, my pretty. Sunday evening. First, I have to go pick up Noah. Now, I'm going to ask if he wants to go shopping with me. And if not, I'm going to let him do some go-karting while I go shopping. So, let's go grab him and see what he decides. So, Noah has decided he's going to stay here and go-kart longer while mom goes shopping. But I will be shopping with her on Tuesday. Yes, which will not be Tuesday's video. It won't be Tuesday's video. This is Tuesday's video. <laughs> but you'll see it soon. So that should be tomorrow. Yeah, should. All right, wherever it ends up, he'll be shopping with me soon. So we're gonna get him in there to go do a little go-karting. Well, Noah is off doing his go-karting thing and I am here at the Goodwill uh, to find some more stuff to turn around and sell in my live sales on eBay. eBay's getting ramped up really soon and to take down to the booth. So uh, with that, we're gonna get inside and see what we can find. Let's get shop done. All right, we're going in. Let's first pick out our lucky cart. Well, I don't know why I like the ones with the name on it. We'll get this one. So this store, it hits you with the hard goods right inside the door. So we are gonna start here. This is a nice, like a 3D, um, like a relief of Madonna and Child. It's really dirty and scratched up. I was looking to see if that was a chip. It's really nice, it's, um, it's a ceramic on there and it's got some age on it. As you can see from the back here. Um, no, uh, no big discount for me today, so it's $4.99, but you know what? It's really pretty. I think we'll get it. And I'm seeing a bunch of these. Oh, okay. They're candle holders. I saw a bunch of these blocks, and I was like, what are those? They're candle holders. Mystery solved. Wow. That is so heavy, I can hardly, hardly pick it up one-handed. So I'm going to leave it because it's not something I really want to ship either. A pair of little shells together. We've got some, uh, I don't know why those are wet. Okay, does that ever freak you guys out when you touch something, it's wet? It's not supposed to be wet on the shelf, so I'm going to get me some wipies out. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, that's where it's coming from, right there. Okay, well, actually, that actually makes me feel better. I can deal with the uh, snow globe schmooze. I can't, I can't deal with other kinds of schmooze, so... <laughs> All right, nothing there. That is a phone jack. We have a doll here. It's a Catherine's christening. You know, we can't, we can't really see her face. Let me try something here. Cause I know now you guys want to see her face. There she is. You know me, I don't really pick up dolls. We have got a, uh, why do we have a Heine bottle of your own Heineken? Okay, all right. Somebody will enjoy doing that. It's not me. All right, moving on. Oh, wait, first we're gonna look at this little rose, this little dainty rose for $2.99. I really hate shipping these guys. I really, really hate shipping these um, because bubble wrap gets stuck on here and somebody could chip it just unwrapping it. Uh, so I do tend to stay away from these and I think I will this time. I'm sorry All right, always got to look up. Oh look look who's still here. It's our three wise men Are they still priced at yeah still well? No, they were a lot more before weren't they? I'm trying to remember now what they were priced at. I Think they were more than ten dollars each and they may have brought them down now hmm Almost there, almost there. It's still $30 for the set. So then we got some Mary's Moose 
and they're piggies, 249 and 249. Um, maybe these aren't Mary's moos. What are you guys? Maybe you're a derivative of, let's see. Some of you are probably already screaming at the screen that you know what they are. This little pig, this little piggies. All right, well, they are of the style of the Mary Moos, which I know well. I don't know these so well, but these are super adorable, so I don't think I can go wrong at $2.49 a piece. Kind of like the look of these uh, candle holders, but it's, they're $7.99 each, $5.99 for that one. So they're all different, they're all priced separately. They're kind of cool, but price point is a little high. That has been damaged. Oh, I've got a little butterfly trinket box. Nothing super exciting. And then we have an elephant trinket for $3.99. You know, that's not bad. And uh, what I have found is the more desirable animals do sell up in like 12 to 15 dollar range so we'll get him oh my goodness the uh, hat chip and dip is still here i think carrie was with me the last time we looked at that because carrie really likes kind of the cowboy stuff who does these style house baronet made in japan um this gets called carnival glass a lot and it's it's technically not um, and carnival glass collectors don't like this real shiny Indiana glass stuff that one does look like water lilies which is kind of cool but I'm gonna leave that and see who else we got up here we got some uh, bathing people they just look like they're marked made in China on the bottom kind of fun but uh, not something that excites me to pick up. Uh, it's not much on these shelves. What is this? A little holder of something. What would you put in there? I was heading over to look at the bird. Let's see who you are. $4.99. You are made in Japan. You had another sticker on there, but it's been kind of messed up. It doesn't have any chips or anything. I think I'll go ahead and pick him up for my live sale. I just happened to look up. <laughs> and there's this guy. Ooh, he's 30 bucks. Why are you 30 bucks? I don't even see a name on you. He's, I mean, he's cute and all, but I don't, I don't think he's 30 bucks cute. So we'll leave him. And we'll see if there's anything else. This is like an angel storyteller with the children. Of, it's a Seymour man. Okay. Seymour man for $4.99. It's kind of interesting. I'll leave it though. All right. Let's skip over here to the wood section and see if I've got anything good today. We've got a little vintage jewelry box. I've been picking up quite a few of these lately. This one's only $3.99. It's got a very 70s look to it, so I suspect that is probably where it's from. I'm gonna grab that. Let's see if there's anything else on the shelf here. We've got a baggie of just some home decor wall hanging stuff. Placemats. Nope, not what we're looking for. Got a big, uh, really dirty little wicker basket thing there. Got some tennis racket covers. Oh, there's another one of these. It's uh, separated from his friends. Not Tupperware. All right. This little coaster set here is missing all of its knobs, which is unfortunate. Uh, I would have picked that up had it not been missing all of the knobs. Oh well. I was just looking to see if maybe this had a little wood animal underneath that and somebody had just changed it. 
Because the ones with the little wood animals sell for really good money. I have seen that piece so many times. That's funny. It's always a few months in between and then it shows back up. Always makes you wonder if it's the same one showing back up over and over. Those are magnets. All right, nothing in the woods today. Let's see what we got on this shelf. I always love to look in these boxes and always hope there's something good in there, but not happening today. Ooh, I like this shelf. Okay, now what? What would have gone in those holes? Because now I'm suspecting it hangs. Oh, there's nothing to hang it. Oh, wait. All right. What's going on here? I thought it was like a shelf, you know, that... I know I've seen like these ziggy zaggy shelves, but there's no way to hang this. And it's got these big holes here. So you guys tell me what that was for. Little pieces of wood. Sometimes I pick these up for Rachel to paint, but she's a little behind in her painting right now. Oh, this is our favorite saying. I like that. We have no more wall space though. Our wall space is very much taken up. Give me a B. All right. Anything here? Little bird. This is not a grinder. I'm always looking for the grinder ones. Oh, and then we have a bunch of cute little candle holders. Now, a couple of these are grabbing my attention. Like this one and this one. I just don't know if I want to pay $3 a piece for them. I think I'm going to pass, but they are pretty cool. Oh, look. It is a vintage trash can. Oh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. All right, this is made by Redmond USA. Uh, I'm gonna put that one back because of the damage, but without that damage, I would have picked that up. Oh, and then we got a big candlestick there. <gasps> Give me a Z. I bet the matching bookend was an A. What do you want to bet? What do you want to bet? Some little wood switch plate covers. Sometimes those can do well. Thought for a minute that was a real painting. I might have picked it up. Oh my goodness. Hello, my pretty. I oh, was about to put you in my cart until I found this giant, giant chip here. That is really really sad because these not only do these sell well but my friend tiffany of thrifting vegas also collects and loves those so but not with big chips as she would say actually she would say massive chip that's it massive chip he's real cute I think this is that Roman brand called Roman. They try to look like Yadro, but they're not. Look at this big old acorn made in China. Super cute though. Really super cute acorn. I'm I'm gonna put that in the cart and I'm leaning towards getting it, but we'll see how much stuff I end up with. But let's just assume I'm getting that big old acorn photo props high heel stapler yeah, this is a sweet little teapot it looks like it's missing something though it looks like this would have uh, set inside the cup and then because there's a plate so it makes sense that there would have been an actual teacup with this it's Shenzhen Bushenfeng say that three times fast and then we have a little vintage swan with no price on it. Let's see who makes this leaf. You are linens and things. You are hand painted. $1.99. 
we will pass on you and look at the volcano art here from the Discovery Channel. I have no idea what that does. So we'll put you back too. And let's see who else we got here. Anything, anything? Boy, nothing in this section today. Okay, on to the metals. Let's see what you are. You are not marked and you feel and look very cheap. We have a Duck Dynasty sign. Is that even still on? Is that still a thing? I haven't really heard anything about Duck Dynasty and I don't watch regular TV anymore, so no idea if Duck Dynasty is still a thing. But let's see, I see two of these. Ooh, those are so vintage. Like 1960s vintage. Let me grab the other one hiding under here they are $4.99 each those are pretty cool and we are gonna get them and then there's this tray that has what looks like a very very old piece of textile in it looks like silk it's got some damage but man oh man that looks like it has some incredible age on it so it's the kind of piece that I just love taking a chance on and figuring out what it is. It's $5.99. It's gonna be a little lesson. All right, let's see what else we got. I love these things. I need to, I have some, but I haven't even hung up yet. So I don't dare buy any more until I actually hang up what I have, right? That's how it works. All right, let's see here. New Orleans, Louisiana. Little, um, well, they look copper on this side, but then it wears and it just looks like um, pewter or tin underneath there. Those are kind of cool. For two bucks? Hmm. I think I'm going to pick those up. It may not be my $20 bill, but the thing on that smaller stuff is it's super easy to store, number one, and deal with and I can learn something. You know, I'll, I'll do a little research, not just on those particular coasters, but on all coasters of that same makeup so that I learn which ones are valuable. So it's kind of like my little learning thing. This is a, a I still don't know how to say it. Dayher, 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 Dayher. Um, I probably would have picked this up if it hadn't had the great big scratch on it it's kind of a cool tin but not with the scratch all right doll stands anybody what do we have here this store doesn't really stock at night like some of the other stores i don't think i've really ever seen them bring out a good cart of stuff in the evening i think you got to get to this store early so i think by the time i get here it's quite picked over but then there is still a uh, Titanic wine holder that is pretty darn cool right there let's see for $8.99 I am sure that has some Titanic value all right we are looking through the clear glass vases and for those asking when my mushroom project is going to start back up. It's getting warm again in Vegas, so I think within the next couple of weeks uh, I will be able to work outside and put some of my mushroom lights together. And that's basically, I just take pieces like this and bowls and glue them and we're going to put some fairy lights in them and, and uh, make them something special in my garden. That's a single egg cup. Wow, oh, he's chipped. I was just trying to figure out if he was worth picking up, but not with chips. He is not. So we will leave him. Yeah, and I'm also going to have Noah doing more work for me because 
Um, sadly, he has given notice at his job <sighs> for various reasons, but um, he just doesn't feel valued there. And he says, Mom, I know you'll treat me better. And it, it makes me so sad that he's learning about the work world that way. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely treat him better. That is like the oddballest of oddballest um, pottery vases. Like, and they signed it Wells. I just don't understand all of these unglazed splotches. And I probably would have picked this up had it not been completely broken and glued back together because it's I mean it's a little fascinating I kind of like it but we can't pick it up with all of that damage oh cute little yellow set of creamer and sugar who makes you oh that is in tiny tiny print again it's it is oh, Henry something, I think. Yellow. It's made in Japan. Six dollars for that whole little happy set. So I'm seeing, actually, it looks like there's sugar, creamer, and a gravy boat and underplate for $5.99. Hey, we'll pick that up. And then let's see what this piece is. Yeah. Very 80s. I don't know, I'm just... The 80s were not a good time for me, so I, I do tend to not have the same emotional reaction to things from the 80s as other people might that had good times in the 80s. I notice that as I'm, you know, I'm shopping and I'm seeing things. I have to be a little aware of that because um, the 80s is kind of a hot collecting period right now. All right, we have a bird in an acrylic thing uh, that's kind of cool. Actually, it's like a partridge, right? Or a little bobtail quail. Yeah, $3.99. We're gonna rescue you, little fella. All right, I feel like I'm just, I'm doing some rescuing tonight. It's okay, it's okay. I just need a couple of bigger things to make up for grabbing all the small stuff. Let's come around here. Start looking at some of this stuff. I like the color of those. But it needs to be in something because that's so lightweight it would just blow right off of my porch. We have some lotus flower candle holders that of course we don't know who done them because they have put their five dollar red tags right on top of it i know somebody else was trying to see what's under they were trying to this was a scanner this was somebody trying to scan so they come from like a home goods and i'm not sure it says who done them i'm doing this as best as i can to try to just see no it's not not gonna let me they are kind of pretty they're really heavy though. Super heavy, which is gonna make the shipping kind of obnoxious on them because somebody's gonna want both of them. That's probably, I mean, that's gonna be about four pounds to ship once they're boxed up and all of that. So that is why we were leaving them. I used to pick these up all the time too. Now, this looks like a really nice one. Um, Lolita glasses it used to have a lot of value. I'm going to take a peek and see if this one's still worth something. I thought before I do that, I'm going to see if that's really what's in here. And it's um, 50 sips of red somebody has put into the Lolita wildflowers container. So um, I'll probably look it up when I get home and I'm editing the video and I'll throw a comp on the screen for you, but it's not worth purchasing. Okay, I'm looking for a mark because this is a really cool piece of crystal, but I'm not seeing one. That's kind of a neat piece. Almost like a cubist, but not quite. It's a little, little different. All right, what are you? Oh, you're some kind of a tablet cover. Okay, 
Looks like somebody just made a little pile of stuff they didn't end up wanting over here. Oh, that's a fun platter. That looks like melamine though. Yep, it is. All right, let's see. We've got anything in the, it's supposed to be the plastics, but we got some metal thrown in here too. So I said, they, you never know what they're gonna throw in over on the plastic shelves. It tends to attract different things. Ooh, I like this strainer. Now I won't buy used for my own kitchen-y stuff, um, but this, I go, oh, I wanna look that up now. What would you call that? Like a spoon-shaped strainer. That could come in handy. I don't know why, but I just think it would come in handy. All right, we're in the bowls and the plates and such things. We've got teacup sets, coffee cup sets. Just those just don't even excite me enough to pick them up and look. Um, got enough of that stuff to do. I kind of, you know, go by what inventory I have at home too and what I already have to deal with. And we don't have a death pile. We don't do death piles at my house. We do a profit pile because it's all profits waiting to be listed somewhere, sold somewhere, priced and off to the booth, that kind of thing. I'm seeing up here, it says set of four Coventry. Oh, they're just plain white. I don't like plain white. We will look for things that are. Oh, that's a pure one. Oh, it's only two dollars. It's just, eh, just plain white. <laughs> Again, it's just a plain white sugar bowl. All right, that's it. Look at these really cute mugs. They do have some coffee. Oh, that one's got a big chip. WLS by Creative Tops. Those are really cute, but. Not with chips. What are you? Interesting. Let's see. Didn't even get all the way around the corner here yet, and I spotted those. I do like the don't sweat the small stuff. It's in 1998. <laughs> when you die, your in basket won't be empty. <laughs> that shows you how old it is. Do people still have like in we have in boxes? Do we have in baskets still at work? kind of a cool mug. It's a very small mug though. It's like don't sweat the small stuff but you might have to sweat the small coffee mug. I don't know 99 cents we'll pick it up. Oh kidoka let's see if there's anything else interesting in amongst the mugs. Oh do we have some Ray Dunn? We do have some Ray Dunn. Oh they're bride and groom. Bride and groom Ray Dunn. I imagine those are not selling for much, but we can take a peek. Life is better with a dog. $1.99. We came, we saw, we jingled. It's cute too, but too far from Christmas. Okay, onward. As I suspected on the Ray Dunn's, they are selling for $12 to $15 for the set in brand new condition. So yeah, the Ray Dunn, the Ray Dunn phase is kind of over. I'm digging these um, black footed glasses with the kind of a waffly optic effect in there. Um, they're $2.49 each though. So it's $5 for the pair. So I would need them to be selling for at least 15. I'm not sure, but they are kind of cool. I, I'm gonna leave those gonna leave them because I don't I, I know they're not anything that's selling for like a huge amount of money that where I'm gonna look it up and regret it when I get home so I'm okay I'm okay leaving those but they are super cool and they probably are worth picking up but like I said I got lots of stuff to deal with so we'll be a little selective I know I say that and then I'll pick up something wonky. And then you guys laugh at me. That's an interesting piece. AAC, handcrafted, made in China. It's had a nice look to it. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. These look cool. Again, these are $1.99 each. 
I know they're not super good glasses because uh, I can see some of the waves in them, but there's a version in the clear uh, that's the same shape that sells for really good money. And I'm just, I'm just thinking these, these are probably worth picking up. I know it's weird. I just passed two glasses by and then I grabbed those glasses. But the other thing I know about glasses that are red is that uh, it's always good to have little red accents down at your booth too. So I like to pick up things like that. Blue woven glasses made for retail. And there's like a whole bunch of them. And uh, they're really cheaply made. So nothing exciting there. Okie dokie, let's see. So look at another, another little stash of stuff put here. That is a little stoneware mug made in Japan. You know what? We'll take that back over to the mugs. Give it a proper home again where it belongs. Not stuck over here on a shelf because somebody decided it wasn't worth enough. Oops, sorry. Not getting my cart out of the way. This is pretty. Made in Italy. $6.99. It's not old. It's, you know, kind of a, a newer piece, but... I'm going to leave that. It was pretty, but just nothing exciting to pick up. Oh, nothing on this shelf. Although, that's kind of cute. But I can already tell it's that cheap ceramic. Chips so easy. Yeah, it's Bella, it's Bella Casa. Bella Casa has great patterns, but it's not good quality. Oh, those are actual chips and a crack on that one. This is an older piece of Japan. I think it would have had one of those like rattan handles. $3.99. You can see the made in Japan there. Kind of a neat mark. So you would just have to get a replacement handle. I don't know how much those are. Hmm. So this is the kind of thing that um, if I was going to get this, I'd get it. And I just offer it in my live sale as is. Because you guys love to put this stuff back together as much as I love to buy it. But I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on that one just until I'm super caught up. I just got my full crew back in action this week and we are <laughs> we are off and running to get everything caught up. Oh, let's see. Art something France is what I see in there. Do you guys? I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get it to focus this way. There it is. There. See that mark? Ever so light a mark in there. Uh, I just saw the quality of this glass and I thought, hmm, it is $9.99. So they saw something too, but that's okay. I'm going to grab that. This pattern here is pretty common to find. I forget who does it. It's like a, it's like a tree bark pattern. I'll think of it. These look like Fitz and Floyd. Like, a, oh, this whole stack is stacked together. Like, or is it Temptations? Oh, goodness. Stand by. I need my hands. Okay, it is Temptations, and it's the pumpkin pattern, and we have a platter, we have a bowl with a lid, and you have four of these little dessert plates and a pie. -out. Just these plates sell for like $28. Uh, so even though they're asking $24.99, there is a lot of profit sitting in this little pile, and I'm picking it up. Oh, See, that was one of those really nice, profitable finds of the night. Makes me happy. Something cookies, David. I don't know. Right? I don't know. I don't know what that says. It's kind of interesting. These say Miko. Miko. It was say nothing. Some silverware. Gotta look close through these shelves because just anything can stand out. 
like a flamingo spoon rest. Hmm. Oh, he's got he's got some damage to his foot there. That's too bad. There are some things that you can get away with damage, but then there's things that you can't have damage and that you got to learn which is which, you know, just kind of trial and error. Um, but generally newer, more contemporary pieces are not going to be forgiving on damage. Oh, look, one of the carrots is still here. I wonder where the other carrot went. That's an interesting set there. Look at, wow, those are like heavy. I guess they're salt and peppers and they're just taped funny. I was trying to get down here to see if this was more, but it's not. I can see it says trick or treat on there, which is not something that um, Temptations did. No. Don't know what you are. Don't know what you are. These are kind of retro, but just made in China. We'll leave those and we will move on to the next row. We've got a Homer Simpson couch potato mug. Again, doesn't look like it belongs over here, um, but I think Simpson stuff sells really good. So for $2.49, we'll put him in the cart. And I saw these stickers and I'm trying to figure out, they say, multi nail form. Oh, there's some kind of nail form. Oh. oh, I guess they're for like artificial nails. Now see, there might be some value there, but it's totally out of my wheelhouse. So I just don't even care. <laughs> I stick to what I know. Is this? Okay. I thought it, I thought it was a shaker, but it's, it doesn't have any holes to be a shaker. I was going over here to look at this. That's old. Look at the age and the wear on that piece. Wow, I think it's just too worn for my liking. So I'll leave it, but that was a cool, cool old piece. Let's see, we got, oh, um, Carrie loves her whiskey stones. She just loves them. Chill without diluting. Yeah, low ball glasses, pub mix, and whiskey stones. All right, let's see what else, what else, what else? One little single bowl sitting here. Whitney Smith pottery. And let's look over here. Oops, I see. Oh, not exciting ones. If they were butterflies or dragons, I probably would have picked those up. But look at this. Look at this ice bucket. Oh my goodness. Look at the color on that. I kind of love it. It's a little wrinkled and I'm not, it's that vinyl-y surface stuff. I'm not sure how much that affects the value, but it's only five bucks and it's just super cool. All right, I'm ending up with a cart full. Ending up with a cart full. I normally don't do anything over here in the small appliances though, so we're safe for the rest of this aisle. See some interesting plates here. Print run. Okay, bamboo appetizer plates. Oh, those are cool because your your wine glass goes in there. Those are really cool. Actually, I really like those. Do they hang, like, the way their picture shows it, like it's, oh, look at that for like partying. You hold it, oh, I think I need those in my life. And you know, sometimes I buy stuff, something like that so I can remember it and then I can buy more because I am planning on having a party. Give me a B. Uh, as uh, we get closer to summer and the pool becomes a thing and all of that good stuff. Since my last party, we froze our butts off being outside and I, I need to make it up to the karaoke DJ this time um, and have not too hot. I don't want to go the other direction. Got to have it when it's just the right temperature to throw an outdoor party here in Vegas. So, so we're going to do that. Let's see what we got on the mishmash shelves. What is that for? What would you string through these 
holes. Hmm, like, oh, it's got its tag on it. It's gonna tell me. Oh, it's a top, oh, is that one of those like tomato planter things? I didn't know that they were just like a, like all I can say is Ikea bag material. <laughs> Because that's what we know that material for, right? Ikea bags are the best. Okay. Mishy mashy section is well picked over tonight. Got some cute soap dispensers. Look in the candle holders. That's acrylic. Oh, I see a strawberry jar. Are you strawberry shortcake? It just says very good. That's vintage and cute and a dollar ninety-nine. So we will get it. All right, let's peek. That just says joy. You know what would be joy is if it said glassy baby. Now that would be true joy. Not just saying joy. But okay. Let's see, there's anything. Ooh, super exciting on the shelf. It's a really cheap, really cheap belt that you can see the leather is just that disintegrating, not really leather leather. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm going to call it. Not really leather leather. All right, I don't see anything exciting on these shelves tonight, which is okay. It's okay, because I've Found some other exciting stuff, so I'm feeling good about this trip. All right, we're in the art, looking real quick. That looks like more of a, a amateur artist piece. As does that one. And we've got an elephant. This also looks like an amateur artist piece. Well done. I kind of like the colors. Yeah, that one. That one's not bad. That's not bad. I can, I can live with that one, but I don't see anything exciting today. And then look at this guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at his eyes. <laughs> look at this puppy's eyes. Oh my goodness. Ida Barbara. It's really sweet. I just can't get over his eyes. The eyes do it for me, but <laughs> we're not going to get him. Oh look, somebody drew a nice little hummingbird. That's not bad, that's not bad either. Let's see, we got lots of little frames. I've got to get Noah a frame for his other piece of art he wants to put on his wall. And just gotta find the time to get over there and take the picture. Um, we go over to Hobby Lobby because they'll actually put it in the frame for us and put the wire and everything so it's ready to hang. Let's see. Problem is usually I have time on Sundays, but they're closed on Sundays. This is a problem. It's kind of a nice, nice little, uh, looks like a watercolor. All right. Nothing in the art. Okay, this is an odd little lamp. This just doesn't seem to match this. I don't know what's going on here. It's a pair of cool lamps. Look at these, but 40 bucks each. They're not that cool for me. I mean, they're cool, but these are 35 each. And then there's a unicorn. You can generally get these at like Target or Walmart though. That's a cool piece, made to look like a older piece, but it's it's not. It's got a newer newer plug. Yeah, they could have rewired it, but highly doubt it. And this piece is also looks like a modern piece. Yep. All right, and that one's still here too. This is kind of a cool old piece here. It's a um, it's a pro man valet. $35. Kind of neat. You don't see something like that every day. Since this is the store that I got my 
um, I gave you the my Hermes scarf in. I'm gonna take a quick peek through the same area where I found that scarf before and see what else they have kind of plopped in here. It's you know they just call it the fabric, so I'm sure they just put a little bit of everything in here. Like here's another nice scarf. Hmm. Not as nice as the Her Her Hermes. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn to say that right. Um, but yeah, this is the section that's definitely worth giving a little scouring to. Let's see, we've got some, oh, they're reindeer. Reindeer, I'm not, I'm just not ready to even start really thinking about Christmas yet. Just can't do it. Nope, nope. I think I just barely got my Christmas all put away. There's towels. And now, here in Vegas, the blankets are being donated. They're being... They're being put away. Um, the uh, blanket shelves are starting to, or racks are starting to be filled up, which is a really good time of year to buy and list them because there's a whole part of this country that is still frozen. Uh, so I do look through and see if there's anything worth picking up, but I'm not seeing anything today. We also are gonna look through pillows because I've been scoring some really nice pillows lately as well. You see one that looks interesting. Anything like these faux furs and the really super decorative. Um, let's see, this is a threshold, so that came from Target. But there are some better brands and you can almost guarantee nobody, nobody ever used that pillow. It was probably just put on a couch that was in a room to be decorative. Well, here's what I ended up with. Not too big of a cart, lots of breakables though, so I hope they have paper, but pretty pleased with uh, what I got here. I didn't go overboard. And now we are gonna go ahead to the checkout and see what damage we did. I just have to pop in here one more time. You guys might remember me talking about this piece when it was here that was three weeks ago three weeks it's not selling and they had a red tag sale in that time so it didn't even sell at half price so this is a piece i'm telling you it's going to end up down at the bins let's see what date is on there uh the second yeah yeah so three weeks this little this little baby's been here and uh her next trip's going to be to the bins i'm afraid
pleasant, quiet shopping trip. I, there was just something very like zen about this shopping trip. I really enjoyed it and uh, got to talk to the clerk a little bit. I just found out they pay they pay the clerks nine seventy five an hour here, and they never get a raise. Makes me sad. So be nice, be nice to your goodwill clerks because they work. They work hard for very little money. So um, I feel, I just, that makes me feel awful. Anyway, uh, also remembering that Mondays are now their dollar color sale. So I might have to test the waters on their next Saturday red tag sale just to see how busy it is. If it's super busy on the Saturdays, I still don't want to go, but I think them changing the dollar day sale to Mondays might help a lot. We're going to test it out. So I am right on time for going to pick up Noah. I hope he has had a blast. I'm sure he has. Like he loves his go-kart and he's even got a GoPro now up on the top of his, his little cart to go around the track. I don't know. Maybe we'll stick a little footage here at the end so you can see from his perspective what he's doing. He's super proud of it. Uh, so with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Say cheese. <laughs>